Grace and peace, and welcome to Violence of Faith, presented to you by Believers Ministries, where we are reaching the community with the love of Christ, one person, one family at a time. Join us today as we take excerpts from our guest speaker, Minister Doreen Dawkins from Raymond Christian Center. The second thing we must do to live lean in 2017, according to Hebrews 12.1, is to lay aside the sin which does so easily beset us. Mm -hmm. The guilt of sin might produce a heavy heart or weigh us on our intellectual mind, emotional and physical bodies, but sin is different than a weight. Mm -hmm. And I know it's my own. I've been saved all my little life and I never sinned and I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, James chapter 4. Verse 17 says, Therefore to him that knoweth to do good, and doeth it not to him, it is sin. They're talking about, oh, I never took crack. How many people even buy crack? I don't know. How do you buy it? Never took it. I don't know. How do you? So I, that's not my sin. Therefore to him that knoweth to do good, and doeth it not to him, it is sin. Mm-hmm. A lot of times we will have sanctified amnesia. We need to, what, what, we, what would be nice is to have the, the I don't know if said it before, the church, we ought to have it one, next Saturday, the Church of Judy. And if we could have a big old screen and just be in the mind of the Lord, we can't do it, but be in the mind of the Lord. You know, all the stuff that you did, that you did all your life. You know, people sit there, I never did anything. Guess you did, you're lying. And, and just have people watch it. And I bet you some folk would shut it on up and lock it on down. Yes, they would. Mm -hmm. And then a lot of times you sit around talking about so-and-so sin is worse than mine. Oh, gosh. Uh, 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 oh, no, if you know to do something and you don't do it, it's sin. And that's even in your purpose. See, some people got the sin of laziness. Mm -hmm. don't, won't do nothing they're supposed to do. And then if they do it, it's all jacked up anyway. Mm -hmm. You might as well have just not even done it. You complained when you did it. It was half done. And guess what? I would be ashamed. This is me. I'd be ashamed to just do any old thing for the Lord. Just throw it together. Slap it together. And somebody said, work as unto the Lord. You know, that used to mean something. Oh, go to your job and work as unto the Lord. Well, <laughs> I don't know what criteria we can give now. Because if that's the best you can do, that's a problem in Whoville. And we try to make our call happen, too. The thing we're supposed to do at church. Oh, now I done took one little understanding God class. And I am called to preach, but you know what? The second, they don't even give me the certificate because I took one class. <laughs> class is nine months now. I took one class out of the nine months. And I decide it's time for me to preach. Nobody even asked me to preach. I keep my little cards made up and I make it happen. I try to make it happen like you do when you try to get a job. <laughs> Send out your little resume. Then <laughs> you get up there and can't preach nothing because you don't know. But Jesus wept. They might not even know that. Now what you going to preach about? <laughs> current events? We don't want to hear about Trump. We don't want to hear about current events. So, you know, give us a break. Mm. Instead of waiting on God at the right time, have a seat. Have several seats. Mm -hmm. The same God that called you to preach or do whatever it is in your call has the ability to give you the opportunity to serve in your call. Proverbs 18, 16 says, A man's gift maketh room for him and bringeth him before great men. <laughs> Relax, calm down, and let God be God. You got, and if you compete, you got to know you in a competition. You ain't just going to come up in my strength and just do whatever you want to do. Oh, no. Bet it won't. Bet it don't. And even in natural, I can't stand. Now, now, I, now I'm just being honest with the spiritual. I can't stand. Stand. Somebody that's that's being motivated by the devil and being manipulative, coming up somewhere. Oh no! Oh, I see you coming. You better get somewhere because you got you picked the wrong assignment. The wrong assignment. You better get somewhere else. 
Because, you know, uh, the devil ain't going to take over nothing. Right. You ain't running nothing. Right. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, we trust God that the word has encouraged you today. And we'd like to take this time to cordially invite you to join us for service. And we're located at 465 Waterbury Court, Suite E, Gahanna, Ohio. For more information about our services, feel free to visit the web at www.believersministries.net.